Ladies and gentlemen, welcome and thanks for joining. With interest rates well above 5%, the stock markets, real estate, and the economy as a whole are doomed. There is nothing that can stop the inevitable 50% crash now. The Federal Reserve will administer its next death blow on Wednesday next week, so finally it's freefall time. But where are the next technical levels and how can we approach this tactically with short positions? Let's look into this today. Hi, I'm a former investment banker and Wall Street veteran with a wealth of experience to share with you. On this channel, I provide insights on investing, recent events, and geopolitics to assist you with escaping the madness that has now become our new reality. So wow, let's look at the NASDAQ. That was a more than 1,000 point move from the last highs, and we even moved lower than my 14300 target, I said in my last video. So this is clearly the beginning of the end to this ridiculous bull market. If we look at the order book of the pros, we can see that end of day on Friday, we have some large sell order liquidity at around 14700 and 14450 and some smaller buy orders at 1487 and 1425. In the S&P, we have a similar picture with a lot of liquidity at 4186, 4176, and 4156, and not much below the current market close at 4120. So considering this and the steep movement of the prior days, I would expect prices to bounce back up a bit to these liquidity levels and consolidate prior to the Fed interest rate announcement day on the coming Wednesday. This of course only unless we don't hear any bad war-related news from the Middle East. I have closed about a quarter of my short position on Friday, holding the rest through the weekend in case there is a gap down due to war-related news. If there are none, then I will liquidate another quarter at market opening on Sunday, leaving half of the position in the market. If the market then moves up like 200 points in the NASDAQ to these liquidity bands around 14500, then I will use that opportunity to re-enter step by step with my full short position. I don't think that they will make it all the way up to 14700 again, but we'll see. Once we have that dead cat bounce and we pierce through the liquidity band at 1425, then I would guess that the next major resistance would be around 13200 so way back down. But this is just the beginning. Ultimately, I would see the markets crashing back down all the way back to their lows of the health crisis in 2020 at around 6700 points in the Nasdaq. Not to forget we have the everything bubble to unravel and the created hardship from the economic collapse or some kind of triggering event may then be used to even push us into World War III. Welcome to the endgame. Speaking about endgame, gold is doing really good. It is now just shy of 70 points away from the three previous highs. This will be my point to sell at least half of my contracts. Of course I keep the physical which is by far the greater position. I don't really think that in the absence of a major deterioration in the Middle East, they can pierce through this yet. Most likely there will be another consolidation first which then would be another opportunity to go back in. Same situation with Hoyle. I would expect another steep move up very soon to at least $95 or maybe even $100 before consolidating. But oil is always a tricky one to trade in particular at these already extended levels. Yields have been consolidating but they will most likely go beyond the 5% after the Fed's next rate decision. I think at that point, Powell will say that even more interest rate hikes are possible as long as the economy is running so fantastically based on his fudged Bidenomics numbers. So this is by no means the end of this rate hike cycle yet and even if they don't yet communicate even higher rates, they will certainly not say that they will slash them. Either way, I think that this will set in another realization of the market participants that the high rates are at best only go away after a deflationary crash, but not before. But even then, they may still be high as from a fiscal and geopolitical situation. The interest rates cannot really come down ever again unless the world unites again in peace and the U.S. deficit somehow disappears overnight. So no way how you put it, we are about to experience the hardest economic landing ever, and it will remain really bad for a long period of time. This is not the 2020 crash anymore where everything is over and forgotten half a year later. This is going to be a serious economic depression that will last for decades and probably until the end of our lifetimes. So get prepared, get out of debt, leave all major countries and buckle up for a boatload of excrement to hit the fan. But maybe I am seeing this way to dark. Either way, all of this should not be considered investment advice. Don't buy or sell any securities or make any life-changing decisions based on this information without doing your own research and conclusion. Anyways, that's it for today. As I said, maybe I am totally wrong with this. If you think so, or if you think that my conclusions are sensible, then please share your views in the comments below. Hope to welcome you as a new subscriber. If you found this video insightful, please give it a like and share it. 
Thank you very much for watching and all the very best to you.